sponsored. No, we're not sponsored. It goes with the island theme here, right? We're gonna source this out locally. Third time is gonna be the charm, right? This is our super miniature system. So how this came about was my wife came up to me and was like, you know, our friends and family in Philippines cannot relate to what we're talking about. They don't have Ryobi there. They have Ryobi in Australia, of course, Japan and here and elsewhere, but they don't have it there. So I said, let me work on that. And within two minutes, I take out her body armor and I take this out. And she was like, where did you get that from? I'm like, that's for your body armor. It's part of your system. We're gonna start off with the solar panel. This is going to be the same setup as episode one and two with my Ryobi stuff. Solar panel to the power bank, power bank to our appliances. So we're gonna start with Roxy's fan. Next is going to be this satellite transmitter. It's also a rudimentary GPS. This is the real reason why we got this system. Because if we got into real trouble in the back country, I can actually just press an SOS and then authorities will come. Or I can text my family or text the authorities what happened to us. So this is the real reason why we got it. Now, other appliances that we can use or other equipment that we can use is going to be this arc lighter. And when we're in the back country, she will not leave without two fire starters. And this is her main fire starter. This is actually USB, uh, micro USB. So you can charge this off of this or straight from this five watt solar panel. Of course, your phone. You can use this as a flashlight, I get phone or how Ann uses it for a Facebook and Instagram notification center. It's not really a phone for her. Your lights. Your lights, this is all in one. So it has its own solar panel. It has its own battery and it has its own lights of course this is the Lucy light so this system right here this miniature system right here is our episode on power anywhere So who is this for? This system is for everybody, everyone. Just pick out the items that you need and you're there. So we're gonna start off with the guys who count every watt, every calorie that they put into their body, the through hikers. They have to go lightweight, they have to go super far. So those guys I look up to, I always look at their gear to make sure that it actually is needed. Some of them will actually carry this. The long stretches where they're not gonna go from uh, motel to motel or base camp to base camp, if they have a long stretch, they'll actually carry one of these because it's super lightweight. It fits their system. This thing weighs, I don't know, like a couple pieces of paper. It's really nice. So what they're gonna try to power up is going to be a GoPro. The cameras, I mean, the phones now are so good that you may not even need a GoPro anymore. And that extended um, journey of theirs, they may need a GPS transmitter. So that way they can be located by their spouse or the authorities. So the third world countries, or if you're just traveling, everyone has a power bank. You're gonna need a light and then to stay cool, you got this. And then if you wanna start a fire, this this is an awesome system to have all you need is a solar panel all right so test number one is going to be what kind of what kind of wattage am i getting out of my five watt panel and my 10 watt panel okay we're going to have this little klein usb uh, meter multimeter and then feeding this renergy power bank so we have something to give it to so the first one is going to be reading at 4.4 volts, 0.3 amps, which equals to only one and a half amps or 1.3. So let's just say one and a half amps. Next is going to be a 10 watt panel. 
let it read. And we are going to get 4.8 volts times 0.7 amps equals 3.3 watts. That's not that much at all. So just because it's hazy and cloudy today, I am not getting that much. The best this can do, the 10 watt, is around 7 watts. And my 5 watt, the best it can do is around 3 watts. So it's minimal, minimal input. Again, this is kind of a survival survival situation here, okay? All right, that's test number one. Test number two, let's see if we can power up this light bulb. This light bulb registers around five watts on my goal zero. It's pretty good. Okay, what you're gonna try to see is if it's brighter with the 10 watts. Oh, it's brighter. See that? That's a pretty cool test. And there's a cloud right now. All right, they both passed the test. Let's just do that one more time because that was kind of cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, okay, test number three. Test number three is gonna consist of this fan. Will it turn on without a battery? And can this power this fan? Of course, this one has a battery and it will be able to charge with it. And let's test that out first. And I see the little red light on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that red light, but it's on and it's working. Now let's go with the 10 watt first since that has a lot of power. And you can hear it. Okay, that works. Let's see if I can slow it down. And yes, it can. With, a, with the shadow, it can. The 5 watt. Is it going to be as powerful? So with the 5 watt, it will not turn on. Okay, back to the 10 watt, just make sure it's not the cloud doing it. Okay, that's on. The sun actually just came out. Let's give the 5 another chance here. Okay, the 5 watt will not let this fan run. Okay, so test number 3 complete. So Anne had a good point. The solar panel can charge the battery and be on at the same time if it has a battery. So test number four. This is a product that I don't like made by Renergy. This is a solar panel that's here. It's probably one watt and the battery is over here. The battery is actually pretty strong. But if you leave this out in the sunlight and this becomes like 140 degrees, and the battery is here, and it's also probably 150 degrees, this electronic will break eventually. So what I did today was I kept this one in the shadow or in the shade and let this solar panel transfer this energy here and it actually worked. I do not recommend you buy something like this because this is 55 watts of energy inside stored in this battery and this is only one watt. Imagine if it really worked that one watt, you would have to take 55 hours to charge this in the heat. The thing is, you're gonna break this electronic because it's in the heat. So do not buy this, don't make my mistake. If you do have this, just use it as a sole power bank. Do it this way. Let's put it together. 
Before we start, we're going to be using USB-A and micro USB. Anywhere in the world, these are pretty universal outputs and inputs, so that's why we chose them. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be collecting power from the sun with our Flex. Flex 5 from Renergy. You're going to locally source all of this again. With that being said, the output on this one is going to be a USB-A and this is going to be 6.5 ounces for my through hikers. It's very, very light. Okay, now you're going to be collecting power from the sun and you're going to be using a power bank here and this one is a humongous powerhouse, 75 watts. If you have something bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter as long as you have a power bank or whatever you can afford. The next is going to be a light. This, so you can find your way around. And again, this is USB-A. Very good. Now we're going to be putting a fan on. So that way you can cool down a little bit. And this is again USB-A to micro USB. And this one has an internal battery, which is really nice because now you can bring it anywhere with you. This saved my butt when we were in Philippines because it cooled me down. And lastly, your phone, which can act as your flashlight. And there it is. You have everything that we have. And I'm going to show you this little power bank. If you only have one USB-A port, that's okay too. You just have to figure out what is essential to you at that time. So here comes the rant. There's going to be excuses why you can't afford this. If there is a will and you guys want to have this emergency preparedness, this little kit together, there's no excuse. My guys in Philippines, some of them don't have jobs, but they have a better bike, airsoft pistol, rifle than I do. They have nicer cars than me. So if you really, really, really want something for emergency preparedness, you can afford this. Locally sourced, this should be a little bit cheaper. A 10 watt solar panel is 600 pesos, which is $12. The fan is locally actually sourced, that's $5. And we actually found it for 70, which is like a dollar fifty. Okay, so if there is a will, there is a way. These are our two Lucy lights. This one is an emergency one, it costs about half the price, and this one has been with me for a long time. This is a versatile unit. This can actually handle the heat. This can will sit outside and fully charge at the end of the day, even when it's overcast. These two actually live on my windowsill, on our windowsill, and it will collect sun throughout the day and actually charge. They won't get fully charged, but they live there all week and the sun hits them. And by the time I need them during the end of the week, they're fully charged, which is very versatile. So what we're going to do now is actually turn these on and see if it's enough light for you. The first one is going to be the big Lucy light. This is on low, that's high, and this is strobe in case you need help. Okay, here we go again. Big Lucy light, low, medium, and strobe. The next one is going to be the small emergency one. This one has a more yellowish tint to it, which I like, and it's more diffused. That's high, there's your strobe, here's the red light special, and this one actually does an SOS, which is pretty cool. Okay, and this is when I want to play commando in the living room to have this red light on. Now, I really do like this red light because just like in the military, it doesn't destroy your night vision. These Lucy lights, you can get them for a decent price when they go on sale. And they're very versatile units. For my guys and girls in the military, thank you guys for your service. How cool of a scenario would it be if one of your buddies actually came up to you and was like, hey, I don't have any more power on my phone. And you look around and you're just like, I got you, dude. And you're like, and you pulled this thing out of your body armor. And they're going to be like, 
where in the heck did you get that? And what is wrong with you? And you're going to be like, you want power or not? I want that hamburger MRE you got there, buddy. So you guys trade, you charge up his phone, and you guys are happy. In 2003, I didn't have this. I had my Nokia with one charge the whole month. You get up on elevation, you text message, you don't call. Why? Calling takes too much power. You have to text message back and forth. You guys got it good this time, right? Shameless plug, I am going to review this body armor. This is actually Anne's body armor, and it's going to be exclusively on Patreon only. In conclusion, I had fun making this episode. I gathered all this stuff up within five minutes and the look on my wife's face was very precious. She's actually starting to learn a lot on how to put these systems together, which is awesome for us and I'm learning more details with this. This kit is not made to be a survival kit, a bug out bag, a get home bag, none of that. To me, this is essential for the 21st century. Ask yourself this, how long can your wife last without Instagram or Facebook? I give it two days until she starts like shaking. With that being said, guys, please be kind to others and please be part of the solution. The tip of the week. My tip is actually gonna be a request. Do not buy those lights that are coming from Goal Zero or energy, they cost too much. The, the light of life is going to be $40 and their energy is actually $30. This, when I bought it, was actually just $8. Now it's $10 on Amazon. I'm gonna unbox here. I'm really bad at unboxing. My wife prior to this was like, how many of these do we have? There's, we have three of them. So the reason why I love this is because this is a USB-C the ones that you're going to get from Energy are, I don't know what kind of plugs they are, but they're proprietary to their system. This one, you can go anywhere with this and actually use it. And there it is. And it's not going to be as bright as theirs. There's like 300, 400 lumen. But you can buy four of these, three of these. And these guys, we've actually used this as our primary source in camping because we can actually hang it on our skis or hang it on to our vents. This is very, very versatile. Have a great week. Mmm. Syrup. Vita Coco. It's good for 